Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well today's a little bit different. We are doing quite a long special uh, service video here. Um, we're doing a feeder flight from San Diego into Los Angeles with our 737 MAX uh, for our virtual airline, Pacifica Airlines. Uh, and then we're connecting with a flight to San Francisco. We're connecting the passengers with a 747 service from Los Angeles up to San Francisco. So it's all part of our day's work, part of our day's service uh, at Pacifica Airlines. For this first stage of the video, stage one, is our 737 feeder service from San Diego to Los Angeles. We also have feeder services coming in from uh, uh, Palm Springs and also Las Vegas and they will connect with our 747 service up to San Francisco. So the first part of the video is getting our passengers from San Diego up to uh, up to um, San Francisco. I mean sorry from uh, San Diego up to Los Angeles. That's the first part of our video. So our baggage is all loaded, our fuel is done, our catering is finished, uh, the in engines are idling, our co-pilot has taken care of the checklist and our engine start up. Uh, the uh, jetway has been retracted, uh, so we're in a good position, ready to go, ready to start our pushback today. Uh, now it's about 6 a.m. in the morning and um, we're going to be departing quite early. Uh, so there'll be some lovely clouds in the sky. We'll get some lovely views uh, of the sun coming up, the sunrise up through the clouds. So it should be a really picturesque flight up the coast to uh, Los Angeles this morning. The captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. If you haven't already done so, we request that you stow your luggage and take your seats so we can have an on time departure. For those passengers seated in a designated exit row, you may be called upon to open that exit in the event of an emergency. Please refer to the safety briefing card of the exit row information card located in the seat back pocket to ensure you meet the exit row criteria and understand the information. After carefully reviewing this card, if you believe you could be injured, do not wish to or cannot perform the functions listed, please notify a flight attendant. At this time, we also request that you install your electronic devices until we are above 10,000 feet. I will notify you when it is safe to bring these items out for use. If there's any question as to what device you can use on board today, please refer to the Work for Board section of your My Magazine. Thank you for your attention. Okay, so it was a nice smooth pushback. We can now taxi to the active runway. Board boarding door has been closed. Once again, we do need all passengers to remain seated at this time. Please double check the security of your seatbelt. All electronic devices do need to be turned off and put away at this time. This does include all cellular phones and two-way pagers. Flight attendants, please prepare doors for departure and cross-check. Now we ask that you direct your attention to the forward part of each cabin, to the TV monitors for a brief airport safety message. Welcome aboard. Please fasten your seat belt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle, and tighten the strap. To unfasten your belt, pull up on the buckle. Turbulence may occur unexpectedly, so keep your seat belt fastened during the flight, even when the sign is not on. Cell phones, two-way pagers, and all other electronic devices should be off and stowed. In American Way magazine is a list of non-approved devices. Remember, cell phones and two-way pagers may never be used in flight. Tray tables and footrests should be secured and your carry-on luggage placed under the seat in front of you or in a storage compartment. Okay, so we are at the active uh, runway now. I've just lowered the flaps. I'm going to adjust the trim down a bit so our plane wants to just lift off the ground naturally and easily when we get to around 140 knots. Okay, so trim is set, flaps are down. Um, my co-pilot went through the checklists, the takeoff checklist, the startup checklist, started the engines. I'm going to be looking after the, um, the autopilot and the ILS approach today. So let's just check that our ILS, uh, our flight plan is actually loaded in. We should see that pink line there for our ILS tracking. There we go. 
and uh, let's just check what we've got set up here for our autopilot. I'm going to turn the flight director on. The auto throttle will be off at this stage. I'm going to turn on the LNAV. Uh, we climb out. I'm going to set our speed at 130 knots initially. Then I'm going to take it up to 150 once we're cruising. Uh, altitude, we're going to cruise at 12,000 feet today. Not far to go, so we don't need to be up too high at all. Okay, so that is good. Let's go outside and check our control services. Everything is working good. Our speed brakes, let's check that. Yes, that's all good. Our rudders, all working. So we're looking sweet. I think we can head out onto the active runway and just head off to Los Angeles. <clears throat> We're all configured for takeoff, though I think we can just ease up with the throttle and head off down the runway. Don't need to go straight to full throttle. We'll bring, uh, bring the throttles up slowly as we head off down the runway. So it's goodbye to sunny San Diego on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. Up we go, rotate about 140. Positive rate, gear up. We're going to keep our nose up around about. Um, 10 to 15 degrees as we climb out of San Diego. A little bit of turbulence and wind as we as we pull out. Uh, we're just going to control our nose. Make sure we're not pointing up too high. We don't want to stall. And we just try and keep it in a straight line as we climb out. Don't do anything fancy or acrobatical. <laughs> Don't do any acrobats or anything fancy. Just keep it steady in a straight line. Uh, so we climb out nice and safely and smoothly. Then we're, we're at a speed and an altitude we're comfortable with. We can then go to the autopilot and uh, engage the autopilot. Engage the vertical speed to a positive number. Positive uh, 1,500. 1,600 will be fine for the vertical uh, vertical speed as we climb out. Speed mode is set to 250. Here we're going to climb up to 250. So that is all good. Auto throttle, we're going to turn on. Now we're clacking a little bit, which means our flaps need to come up. Putting a little bit too much stress on our flaps. So we'll raise our flaps. And the plane should start adjusting itself and heading over towards our GPS line there so our autopilot is doing the job just beautifully we are at 5900 feet and we are cruising traveling at 250 knots at the stage and you can see down here we're about to intercept um, our flight plan all is looking good Let's enjoy the views outside on this beautiful morning as we climb out of San Diego. Look at that sunrise, look at those clouds. That is just beautiful, just gorgeous.
Lovely day for flying. Sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. Welcome aboard uh, Pacifica Virtual Airlines, guys. Just about at our cruise altitude, not far to go. I'm going to increase the speed so it doesn't take all day to get there. Going to take it up to 300 knots. 300 knots. Uh, like I said, this is a connecting flight. It's a feeder flight for our service to San Francisco. Um, Pacifica Airlines has a few feeder flights coming into Los Angeles from our base in San Diego. Um, from Las Vegas. And um, a few others. And uh, the second stage of our flight is a 747 service from Los Angeles up to San Francisco, which we're going to be uh, doing crossing over to that plane for that service as soon as we've uh, landed and disembarked uh, the 737 uh, on this uh, connecting service. Uh, Palm Springs, that's the name I was thinking of. We have a feeder flight coming in from Palm Springs to uh, Los Angeles and they, those passengers will also be connecting with our 747 service up to San Francisco. So, you're booked in guys, you're, uh, you're booked in for our uh, 747 flight up the coast, so that's going to be a, a beautiful flight as well, and we'll be, we'll be departing, and we'll be doing that flight and uploading that flight as soon as this one is finished and uploaded. But those clouds look lovely, don't they? Quite a few clouds. Today we're not getting really good views of the scenery as far as the, the coastline goes. We're certainly getting some nice cloud formations and colours as the sun comes up. Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck. We're level at our cruise altitude, so I'm going to turn off the seatbelt sign at this time. So you're free to move about as necessary. However, when seated, we would like you to keep your seatbelts comfortably fastened for your safety. We just checked the weather and expect smooth sailing for most of the flight. So for the most part, we're going to stay quiet and let you enjoy the entertainment and service. And we'll be talking with you later on. Yes, we're going to enjoy the entertainment and the in-flight service. Today I'm having a cappuccino, some nice fresh coffee, and a banana muffin. Mmm. Now if you haven't tried banana muffins, guys, you've got to try a banana muffin. They have real lumps of banana in it, and... Um, Oh, they're good. They're good. Especially, especially smothered with a little bit of fresh butter. Oh, nice with a lovely hot fresh coffee. Nice fresh cappuccino. And uh, the flight attendants are going to be uh, bringing a couple of those muffins up the front for us. For me and my co-pilot. Some nice fresh coffee, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, as we head up the coast on this beautiful day. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's 
so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Okay, as you can see guys, we are on our descent and um, we're going to come down to 4,000 initially before we drop down to 3 uh, as we swoop around to intercept our final approach. From the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. We're going to be landing in oh, about 20 minutes, so I'd appreciate it if you would return to your seats fasten your seat belts at this time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin our approach, we ask that you please check. Make sure that your seat belts are securely fastened, low and tight across your lap. Please return your seat back and train cables to their full brake lock position. If you've had occasion to use your carry-on items, please make sure that they are safely stored underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead in closed bin. Also, if you're using any type of electronic device, if you would please turn it off until we are parked at the gate. Heading down through this clouds now just looks absolutely amazing. Really does give you a real sense that you're flying. It really does. A big part of this uh, flight simulator for me is outside the plane enjoying the scenery and the views. Uh, not so much all the technical little details of the actual flight systems. Uh, the big thing for me is enjoying the planes, yes, but also spending time just looking around and taking in the beautiful vistas, the beautiful views and the clouds as you fly, um, fly around. This simulator is just amazing. Rather dark, threatening clouds here, but... Uh, <laughs> So it will be a, we do have hit a bit of turbulence as we come down through these clouds. Can get a little bit uh, a little bit rough as we head in. It looks like we're heading into a black hole here. It looks pretty scary. But um, yeah. Beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you impressed with the graphics? Uh, since update 5, it is just amazing. It is very, very smooth. Uh, some people say there are a few things that are broken with the Update 5, but uh, there are also some good things as well. You can see the plane rocking around now with a little bit of turbulence as we come down through those clouds. Uh, so that's to be expected. Rocking around with a bit of turbulence as we come down through the clouds. Now we're just on our final loop to connect up with our um, approach line. Our final approach just as we finish this right hand uh, sweep here coming down through some clouds looking a little bit thick here uh, but almost ready for our final approach 
Flight attendants, prepare for landing, please. And I think we can. Um, we can lower our gear as well. Confirm, gear down and locked in position. Doesn't that look gorgeous? The beautiful sunset, the clouds coming in over the coast to Los Angeles. And uh, of course, we're going to connect up with our 747 service and we're going to head straight up to San Francisco. So join me on that video. We're going to depart pretty much straight away after this video is finished and uploaded. We will start working on our second leg of the flight, uh, which is our 747 connection from uh, Los Angeles up to San Francisco. Just before I touch down, I'm going to be turning off the autopilot. I will turn off the flight director, the auto throttle, the autopilot. And we'll do a little bit of a flare as we land and try and do it as smoothly as we possibly can. It's a bit hard to see with that sun glare. It really is quite, um, really is quite shocking, isn't it? There we go. The graphics have sort of adjusted themselves now. Okay, so let's get in and uh, we can turn off our auto throttle and our autopilot. And we can do a little bit of a flare as we touch down. Try and make it as smooth as possible. Try and stay in the center of the runway. Reverse thrusts on. Here we go. Welcome to Los Angeles, everybody. We've got another flight to do up to San Francisco, which I will do on another on another session, actually. We'll come in here and park nicely at the gate. Can bring our flaps up now. And there we go, guys. A beautiful day here at Los Angeles. Thank you again for flying with us. And uh, we'll have you comfortably seated and boarded on our 747 service up to San Francisco uh, within the hour once you've departed and um, been through the checkouts, uh, the process. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the rest of our service uh, with Pacifica Virtual Airlines. Thanks for watching. Click the like, make a comment. If you have any helpful tips that may help me, um, on the technical side of things of flying the plane always happy to learn please subscribe and i'll see you again soon on our 747 service up to san francisco so we'll be getting that uh, underway as soon as this video is uh, finished and uploaded stay safe guys cheers